Well, one of the things that used to drive me crazy when I was working in the, the healthcare industry was having to go out to drink all the time uh, with colleagues or with clients. And I was on this amazing like transformation at the time. I was, I was 280 pounds and I was trying to lose a bunch of weight and drinking was just one of those things I just didn't really want to do. But there's always so much pressure when you're in a business situation or some kind of social setting to drink. And it's not so much pressure. We know as business people that sometimes it's about building rapport and when you're not drinking and everyone else is, it can actually be looked down upon. So I understand that and that's why I wanted to do this video so it really explained what you can do to make sure that you don't feel like total garbage the next day if you do go out and drink. And I wanna explain really quick what alcohol does in your body. When you drink alcohol, your body processes it pretty uniquely. In fact, you, you take a sip of alcohol and you've got some enzymes in your mouth that immediately convert that to what's called acetaldehyde. And that acetaldehyde is extremely toxic. And that conversion happens immediately in the mouth, but then as you drink more alcohol, the liver begins to process it. And when it begins to process that alcohol, it converts it into more acetaldehyde. So then the liver also produces something called glutathione. And that glutathione attacks the acetaldehyde but it can only do it so fast. So you're basically having this buildup of acetaldehyde in your system that your liver is working super, super hard to fight. It's working super hard to get rid of all of it out of your system. So in the meantime, everything else that your liver is supposed to be doing is taking a back seat because your body is focused on getting rid of this really toxic chemical. So most of the hangover and the crappy feeling effects that you get come because your body isn't able to do its normal functions. Now, the other thing that causes a hangover is the suppression of something called vasopressin. Vasopressin is what tells the kidneys to release water back into the body rather than just urinating it out. So when that hormone's gone or when that vasopressin is gone, your kidneys just excrete water. So you can drink water all day long and it's just gonna go right out. So it doesn't matter how much water you drink. But I do wanna give you a couple of tips that you can take away that'll, that'll change how you go out to drink with your friends and it will kinda of change how you look at drinking and how your body processes it. Uh, the first and foremost is to drink drinks that are distilled, heavily distilled, preferably things like vodka. In fact, vodka would be the best drink that you can drink simply because it's so distilled, a lot of the impurities are out of it. So it's pure alcohol and it's less of an impact on your body in terms of what the liver has to do to metabolize it. It's a lot purer, a lot less uh, just extra random things that are thrown in it that are like in a lot of different alcohols. So vodka is gonna be the best, it's pure. Now the other thing, stick to one drink. The best way that I can describe this is you're building a proposal for a client company and you're almost all the way through it and then someone comes in and says, wait, you have to build this proposal for two client companies and they have two totally separate values. Well, you can't do it. You have to revert and you have to start over from the beginning and make it a little bit different. Well, that's exactly what your liver is having to do when you're processing different kinds of alcohol. It's working really hard on processing one kind and then you're throwing another one in there and it just doesn't know what to do because it's got two different alcohols it's gotta to try to metabolize now and it just has to work even more over time. So the effects of the hangover that you are feeling are actually uh, the byproducts of your liver not able to do its job. That is why you feel the way that you feel. So using these two tips, you're gonna really be able to change how you feel the next day after a night of drinking. And to be completely honest, the next best thing that you can do is the next morning, eat something with some good amount of fats in it. Eat some eggs, eat some healthy organic bacon, and get those healthy brain fats going again so that you can function and you can get back to business. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.